it was the ultimate status symbol. Donald Trump's Boeing 757. Nice to meet you. Have a good time. A regular presence on the 2016 campaign at his marquee events. There was his plane. They've never had anybody that owned a Boeing 757 before. From rallies and you know to KFC. Today, however, the massive jet sits abandoned at an upstate New York airport. One engine mostly missing, one wrapped, idle, in apparent disrepair. According to records, it hasn't been flown in months. It's been sitting on the ramp for at least a year or two, and uh, the left engine's been taken off, probably for service. The crown jewel of Trump's fleet, now future unknown. The cost to fix it, says one aviation expert, well into the six figures, if not more. If that engine goes out for service, uh, it's going to need anything from, could range from the low $100,000 uh, up to nearly a million dollars if it had to be replaced. An asset that Trump is apparently setting on the sidelines. And though it's unclear why it's grounded, it comes at a time when some of his businesses have racked up losses. It really is a vintage aircraft. The plane, built in 1991, Trump purchased it in 2010. There were a thousand, a little bit over a thousand of these aircraft built, and uh, almost all of them are out of service right now. A Trump-sanctioned documentary about the plane says he paid $100 million for it. Similar 757s are up for sale at a market price of about 7 to $10 million. But Trump did trick it out, covering every metal surface from seat belt buckles to doorknobs, even the faucets, in 24-karat gold. Price tag $250,000 for that alone, according to the interior design company who outfitted the entire plane. Seats, the finest leather, ceiling panels and cream suede, embroidered Trump family crests in gold thread. Fabrics flown in from Paris, customized from the master bedroom to the private dining room. On the campaign trail in 2016, the plane was the ultimate marketing tool, the tangible symbol of Trump's success promising he could do the same for the country. When I fly on that big plane, I'm paying for it. Behind the scenes, a gilded expense. And for four years in the White House, with access to Air Force One, the 757 was grounded.